Oh. Check, check, check. There it is. There oh, it is. that's crisp. That's crispy. That just feels so good to just like be back every week. Another week. We're back. Episode 40 on tap with the boys. Dalton, Tyler, Jake, our up? camera guy yeah. behind the microphones today. He's going to give some energy. He's going to give some insight. And uh, we're going to start. This is officially like kind of our. F- oh, no, it's not our first. Actually, I was going to say like our day drinking episode. I'd say we've done that before. Yes, we have. Yeah, yeah. but uh, today mm-hmm. we're gonna we're hitting it a little early, but we're gonna get into it and we're gonna figure it out for you. So beer's still flowing, and uh, the conversation hopefully is gonna flow just as good. So let's get into it. Let's do it. You are now listening to On Tap with the Boys, a podcast about beer, bad decisions, and bad friends, with your hosts Cody, Tyler, Dalton, and Tucker. Oof, we're back. I honestly feel like. It's kind of empty in here. Yeah, I thought you should have faded, yeah. faded the names out, but <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, uh, just just cut the names at the end of the intro, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. So before we forget, uh, Minnesota's back open. They are. Oh, yeah. We we spent uh, me and Tyler. I spent almost all of my day. Yeah. On Monday at the cricket. I um. Let him, I let them down a little bit. You did. You did. You did. <laughs> yeah, I, I have not gone out yet. But it was but. okay because there was a lot of people coming and going. And uh, you haven't gone out since the reopen, Jake? Nope. Uh, well, I was going to go out to eat on what uh, Tuesday with my dad. But mm-hmm. my dad and my brother, they just left. They went to Don Julio's in North Branch. Jesus. Yeah. They just left us. So I was sitting did, in my room. Didn't did your get the dad invite. not know which twin he was taking? He's like, <laughs> oh, shit, I was supposed to take Jake to lunch, but I'll fucking take Maybe. Max. I'm the older one, so I should get you know, the privilege. <laughs> older man. older well, by some sucks. seconds. That's, um, that's not fun at all. So I, while I was there uh, at noon and Tyler came there a little bit after me, Yep. Uh, we were hanging out with Scott, and he decided to donate us so three it, cases of Bush Light. It was great. So this yeah. is a good, this is a big family friend of Cody. Yep. And he was just like, I love the podcast and I love and what's going on. And he yeah, wanted like, what to can watch I, us. What can I do to help you? Yeah. You know, whatever. Um, so Scott Wagner at Golden Touch Services. They do like, uh, what, let's let's see here. Excavating, demolition, trucking, landscaping, snow plowing, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Playing pool against him. Learned a thing or two. He taught me a bunch. He yeah, kicked my really ass. Yeah, he's pool. <laughs> Big pool player. Uh, I think I won one game out of the six we played. Okay. Yeah, but uh, that's better than zero. Yeah, it is better than zero. We <laughs> ended on my win too, which is sweet. well. There you go. <laughs> that's the way to do it. So yeah, Golden Touch Services donate some beer to the podcast. We we love it. Uh, Three cases, and that's the way. To, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of the way to. He's like, how do I support us and stuff? And uh, that's kind of it. I mean, <laughs> buying, buying beer is the only yeah. way to support. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah. you can support us. You know, big thing for us is content. Keeping the content going. Yep. Uh, um, a constant flow of videos and stuff going out and. The beer kind of provides us content. Yeah, we, we <laughs> get a little more loose. We do get a, us in the liquor, yeah. and then we go for it. So we had a couple pre-show beers from him. Yeah, but now I've been seeing this stuff. Uh, Speaking of liquor, what's yeah, going on here? Big liquor. <laughs> so we don't have cups here. Um, yeah, because we never wash them. So there's like tons of just cups sitting around stacked, but they're all dirty. Shot yeah, glasses, whatnot. There is. Um, Realistically, is there even running? Like, could we use running water here? It's oh the, yeah, it's there city water. Is. There's a bathroom. Okay. Yeah. The city only finished blows. part of the basement is the bathroom down here. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is we'll call this finished. I don't even oh, know yeah. if that's finished back there. <laughs> no, there's yeah. a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because of the water. Yeah. Main, and but, I guess this uh, isn't finished because it's literally the, not the floor, not the ceiling, just panels on the walls. It so, looks nice though. Movie oh, magic. Sorry. We we kill it here. We yeah. know what we're doing. <laughs> so what am I drinking? Uh, we, I got some new Amsterdam pink pink Whitney. I know this isn't new. It's the um. The Barstool Sports kind of vodka that they got. It's pink uh, lemonade infused vodka. Is it? Are you just supposed to like drink this like a glass? It's only thirty percent. It? So I was just gonna. Put like it, the, I've chugged it before. It's, it's like the bad. fancier version of UV. Probably New Amsterdam has been known as pretty good, pretty good liquor. I feel like UV is more potent. Yeah, UV is. You know, that's where you you want to get a minor. Yeah, if you're drinking UV. So this is how we make cups. Yeah, so <laughs> we don't have cups around here, so I'm just tearing the tops off of bush light cans, putting some ice in there, and then giving her the beans. Yeah, he just rips it off with his teeth. Old college trick. It got him into all the places back in. Uh, That's like holy shit. It. College. Yep. Boom. Top gone. God don't damn. need that. That hit the light, but not the camera, so we're good. <laughs> that's that's the that's my expensive camera okay, too. Okay, my bad. <laughs> so we're good. So have you had Pink Whitney before? No, I've never had it. I'll give you a little cut. Give her a little slosh around and mm. don't cut your hand on. I'll that. tell you what. 
Oh. Is that vodka? <laughs> oh, it's vodka. Yeah. It's strong. It's ah. strong. Okay. Not a sip in vodka, huh? Uh, it's very sharp on the lip due to the bottle or due to the glass. <laughs> okay. Um, but that wasn't horrible. Um, Fuck, I feel like I'm pouring a lot in there. So I got a, I got a funny story. Okay. Um, so, so I was I was skimming through our YouTube uh, the other day mm -hmm. and uh, just looking at the comments because I haven't looked at them in forever. Yeah. And the episode where it was just me and you, you remember we talked, uh, we talked about how far you would go for a certain thing and yes. uh, whatever. Well, I look in the comments and uh, there is a certain Danny Procott account that says, hi, Dalty, right? Really? No, but listen. Okay. That's, that was her children. <laughs> oh, no. So my, my, my baby cousins so that are like, well, not babies. It. Yeah, younger kids. <laughs> Did you ask them Just, how Hi, far? Dalty, right on the <laughs> comments of the YouTube video. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I, uh, I haven't. Asked how far they got into the episode. How long ago was that funny. episode? Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, it was just the one with the coffin? Yeah. Yeah, that oh, okay, episode 38 yeah, yeah. on top of the boys. I thought okay. that was funny. I was thinking that, I don't know if it was an earlier one. We talked about how far you'd go for pussy if you want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mainly did. I don't even think I got an answer out of you. Yeah, my wife was on the yeah, damn couch. Yeah, you'd go to the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is super strong. It tastes at least that way. I would have to mix it with something. Oh, some, I think it's probably supposed to be Jake. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Put some water in it. It'd be pretty good. Yeah, water. Have, have you ever had like a sip in vodka? No. I feel like that was like the pinnacle of like, so I only did it once in college. And I went over to a, a buddy's dorm room. So we we're he's like, dude, this is some really good vodka. You know, it, it costs $40 a bottle. You know, yeah. <laughs> like back in college, that was a lot of money for vodka. Yeah. So. We're just sitting there playing games with a low ball with ice and fucking vodka in it. Jeez. Not fun, but hey, we got pretty fucked um, up. What? A uh, little much. A, a weed and water is a vodka. Jeremiah weeds vodka? I think so. I do. And I, that. I will drink the shit out of a weed and water. I will. What's that? Weed is that? Water. It's it, it's Jeremiah weed. It's, it okay. It literally tastes like tea. Yeah, Jeremiah oh, okay. weed is like a, a green tea flavored vodka. Must be vodka apparently. And then you just put water in it, and then it's just straight green tea. Like, if you put water in this, I would assume that it'd just be fucking pink lemonade. You're just cutting yourself over there. <laughs> I'm trying so, to turn the he's getting, lip so it doesn't cut my lip open. Yours looks a lot fancier. For those, than, for those that, that one, but for audio work. listeners that couldn't uh, see that, he re literally ripped the top of a bush light can. Oh, you folded it in. Yeah. Um, Gotta get the he ripped the top of a bush light can off with his teeth. So. It was pretty cool. So, have you guys, I know I'm... Way bigger of a TikToker than you guys are. Yep. But I just, I caved. You guys convinced me that I should get okay. it and I got it. So there's a big thing right now with the the movement of the thousand pound sisters. Have you been seeing these videos and stuff? Is the two you were sitting on the couch and they're like, yeah. Oh, I seen one with a doctor and uh, it was something like, doctor, this guy is, uh, I can't remember what the TikTok was, but we have a little group chat with like uh, my brother and a couple yeah. of other buddies and stuff. And they, they're always sending that kind of stuff. Where on it's there. like, it's do you drink water? And it's like, we have Saudi pops, no water. And it's like, if you drink one Diet Coke, it cancels out the sugar. If yeah, you I eat something see with sugar. One. Oh, boy. Yeah. But what kind of bot, like, they're really funny shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun with them. But I didn't really, I kind of looked into them a little bit because I was kind of curious, the thousand pound sister and the dynamics between them. So one is 605 pounds. Yeah. And one is like 404 or something. Are they like, are they, are they twins? No, no they're, they're not twins. Okay. They're but not like twins. I was, I was looking at, I was reading this article. I'm like, okay, like 600 and like 404. And like, these are big girls. I'm like, dude, I fucking weighed more than that one chick. Like at the beginning of this yeah. podcast, I weighed more than that on, one. The only difference I'm like, what is, is this? Do I get a TV show? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, the you kind of have one right now. I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind kind of, of, we're kind yeah. of doing it ourselves. The only kind difference being is you're what? Six. I'm five, nine and a half. No, no, Tyler, you're not. Because that puts me under four feet. Ask me. Ask me at the bar. I'm five nine and a half. You are six foot seven. I'm six foot seven. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. You spread out. Yeah. I remember I messaged you on Messenger. My mom was wondering how tall you were, and you. I think you said five nine something. <laughs> I should go back and look at it. I'm and I'm. I didn't think about it because I'm. I'm like five seven. I didn't even think about it at all. I'm like, yeah, he's like five nine, mom. And, you know. <laughs> I don't know if we've really addressed this on on the podcast. I hope we haven't. But if even if we have, we've been going for forty episodes now, fifty yep. in total over a year. Incredible. Um. That's my go-to thing at the bar. When I go to the bar, I uh, all these drunk people and stuff later in the night, they're like, how tall are you? Like, oh, my God, shit. you're so tall. You're so tall. And they're usually really fucked up. And I can tell how fucked up they are if I say, oh, yeah, I'm five nine and a half. And they'll just sit there and they'll look at me and they'll be like, 
holy fucking tall. <laughs> like, the, they have no idea what I'm even saying. Yeah. They, they, they just know it's tall. That's why I know <laughs> you're fucking hammered. And then I had these one people going for shit two days. Yeah. I, they're, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I just kept saying it. Kept yep. saying it. Jeez. Double no, it down. Not. I'm five nine. It's like obviously I'm not fucking five nine. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's boy. it's pretty. Put me next to any doorway ever. I mean, I think it's pretty <laughs> obvious. But uh, so that's kind of my flow with that. I yeah. Guess. Uh, it's my go to, and I, that's how I do it, and it's pretty good. It's fun. It's yeah. A good that that and Sorry. buying the ladies, uh, buying the ladies a nice fresh water. Yes, buying <laughs> ladies water. I only buy dudes drinks. Yep. Don't buy girls. Strictly drinks. men. <laughs> I guess I haven't really seen you at, at the actual like bar before. So yeah, I don't think you curious. have. I mean, I did go to the cricket yep. once. That night, and that night is when he was buying ladies water. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But uh, you came way late, and uh, we were probably already toast by then. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I think I was sick that weekend. If you were driving us home, we were toast. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was a good day. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting at the bar, and there was a girl that I was trying to talk to, and I bought her a water. Yeah. And then I bought her mom. <laughs> yeah. I bought her mom a drink that she was yeah. with. And I kept. You I, were flirting with her mom. I, I told the bartender, <laughs> make sure her mom doesn't pay for a single drink all night. I'll pay for all her mom's drinks, Damn. but I'm not buying anything for her. Yep. So you, yep, yep, you yep, bought yep. a water for the daughter, but yep. drinks for the mom. Drinks yep. for the mom all night. Did that's not buy funny. anything that's for the, the ticket. daughter. That's my, that's my thing. I'm not going to buy girls drinks. I think that, the, I don't know. I understand the whole conversation starting shit, but I hate. So like how I grew up with like my cousins and stuff is that like guys would buy them drinks and think like they're obligated to fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's weird. Oh, you owe me something. You bought me a drink. You owe me a conversation. You owe me this. You owe me that. That's why I will not buy them a drink. You buy them waters, man. <laughs> I'll buy their friends drinks. That's funny. I'll always make friends with the friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You guys both have fucking married. I'm the one that's, <laughs> I'm the one that needs this advice. I'm not married. Oh yeah. No, no you, you got a girlfriend now though. Don't you? Yeah, you're tired. Yeah, now. I see this Facebook official, so that could be podcast official, correct? Uh, I guess so. I mean, you you did bring it up too. I mean, you, we when did your, say your it. Thing, you guys are talking about how far you'd go, and that was very uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 I was just sitting back there. I was like, please don't bring it up. Please don't bring it up. <laughs> don't mention me. Don't and mention then Tyler's me. Tyler's like, even Jake has a girlfriend now. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, Jake. You're um, good. I apologize. Oh. But no, Facebook officials, podcast official. We can roll with that. Yeah. So I like that though. That's fun. Um, should we hit this Florida man? I I uh, hit it pre we're gonna hit it pre break. Let's do we're it. We're gonna hit it pre break. Well you said you it. wanted me to get through my stuff because you got stuff. I got some things. You got things and stuff? I got things and stuff. Things and hit stuff. Hit us with that Florida hit man. It. Florida man of the week. Florida Man of the Week this week is actually two men, and they are from Florida. We have a Brian Montalvo Colentino <laughs> and Juan Burgos Lopez. Uh, hey, that one's that's, easy. That's, that's an easy one. Yeah, Burger Lopez is way easier than... <laughs> Burger Lopez. Than Mount Tolentino. <laughs> uh, not quite sure. Let me see these names. Let me okay, see these names. yeah. How do you pronounce that? All right, so we got Brian. That's Montalvo. Tolentino, yeah. Tolentino. Brian Montalvo Tolentino and Juan Burgos Lopez. Wow. Dude, did you watch Breaking Bad? No. Wow. None of Incredible. It. I just watch uh, a lot of commercials where like a Hispanic girl will say a perfectly clean English word and then just hit like the word burrito <laughs> and it's so, like burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I can do the R's. So I'm, I'm, I, I wanted to hit this quick because you said this. There was, I got a TikTok sent to me today that was like uh, a scene that it sounds better in Spanish than English. And you know the, sh the scene from Shrek where it's the gingerbread man. The muffin man. The muffin man. So they played that in Spanish. Slaps, dude. <laughs> okay. You'll have to send us that later. Everybody, <laughs> yes. That. I will show it to you guys off air. But next, uh, everybody listening, whatever, search that up. <laughs> Hilarious. The muffin man scene on Shrek fucking hits in Spanish. <laughs> so, side note, I I need like a fidget spinner or something because I noticed like the last couple episodes, I'm like, oh, it's fucking. Just moving around. Just, <laughs> yeah. You're getting jiggy play, with it. I'm playing over. with this. I'm like super anxious fella. Anyway, uh, so these men. Marito Lopez. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're accused of uh, stealing human remains from a U.S. military base in uh, Florida. So they're actually grave robbers, and they stole six skulls, up to six skulls so far. And they're still doing testing and stuff from a military cemetery. 
for oh that's so florida it's Jesus. fucking crazy shit but they're they stole it for um this sort of religion type thing uh called paula mayambe yep and it's kind of like a voodoo type thing yes and uh you said you listened to yeah. things on it you had sent me um what was uh, last podcast last on podcast on the left so yeah. i was like looking for episodes and i think i just listened to that one was that yeah that was one of the newer ones. Was, I just listened to it. Not yeah, you ago. had sent that to me, that yeah. one, and I listened to it, and they were talking about it, and they were talking about how they're not supposed to talk about it because th- bad things could happen oh due to the people involved. So big, here we are. There was uh, a <laughs> big, big-time cult serial killer that was that practiced Paul and Mayambe, like, made a huge. Yep, yep. Yeah, and, like, the big thing behind it is that you – you have to do sacrifices to get your power and shit. So you need blood. You need fucking yeah, body it's, remains. It's brutal. And you make so an altar. Is there a specific region of the world? I think or is it like a U.S. thing? I think it's like, South America. Yeah, South it's America. Very okay. South American. I think it's South American. Yeah, kind of. Or cent- like, Central. Yeah, Central. Yeah. Yeah, but spooky. Spooky stuff. Yeah. You know? So these people, they stole these six skulls for a Paul Mayambe shrine, which is supposed to bring them more power. Which right. Which apparently... They were giving a big salute to the American army, though, that the, that a military skulls would have more power than a regular oh, skull. Oh, so they were like, oh, these soldiers yep. that battle, like their the, skulls were the, more the than soldiers, yep. just Duncan's that skull. That makes sense. That'll give you, like, a half another Bitcoin in, like, the, <laughs> right. the religious world. Yep. yep. Than, Bitcoin like, a regular yeah. skull. Bitcoin in the religion. Yeah, how did... Uh, how is religious power uh, judged? Is it, like, in quarters? Uh, no. Stamina? It's, it's got to be like just like what you did during your lifetime, right? So like Abraham Lincoln's little spooky soul is worth more than <laughs> m- mine. Yeah. What was it called on like uh, Diablo? Do you ever play Diablo? I did play. I have no idea. Mana. It, Wasn't it mana? Or that's, something? that's like your magic. Yeah. That, yeah. They're that's mana in like a lot of games. Though, through think, the roof, it? bro. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys' mana is through the roof. But <laughs> it's fucked up. Don't grave rob. I'm not saying that. That's that's fucked up. We're just making comedic content. That's kind of <laughs> how I'm trying to do this. Yeah, don't rob graves. No, don't steal skulls. Don't uh, do that. Yeah, if you were to do that on behalf of us, we appreciate it. But like, just don't, don't do wear that. any of our merch <laughs> doing that on on yeah. Don't reference us. <laughs> oh, write us a letter. Uh, so I wanted to talk about this though because we have Jake Hagman on today, yeah, you and do. he's speaking been, of spooky stuff. He's he's a spooky guy. He I've referenced before. He's got the voice of an angel for his throat fucked by a demon, and he does some. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Some, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like that line. I want to bring it up compliment. again. Yeah. So you do some. Uh, you do voodoo. <laughs> I don't do the voodoo. No, I don't. Okay. All right. Okay. Do, have you ever done like the fucking? Ouija board. The Ouija board shit? The Walla Woo. Walla I haven't Ouija actually board. done one, but I've like filmed with one at the Hayride. Okay. okay. But we I will refuse like... to fucking get um, close to one of those, bro. Do us do it on, no. on the video, dude. I will, I will <laughs> not. I, uh, I'm a big science guy. I've come to the conclusion that that's kind of false. Okay. But I just got a thing, like, grow, growing up Catholic, it's like, if you do shit like that, you're yeah. asking for yeah, you're fucking demons. You're opening the door. You're I, asking for demons, bro. There may, <laughs> Yeah, there may be certain circumstances where that thing moved on its own, but a lot of the times... Your yeah. subconscious has a lot of power, and if you close your eye or if you're watching it, you can like, like you move, move it to where a, you want it to go. You've seen this thing, then. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want Jake on because he has insider information on the what are they called? Like the it's not it's the other side, bro. I, I mean, not really, but I can tell you a little bit. Well, about yeah, Jake, Jake. So who yeah. do you work with, and who are you, who are you signed on with now, doing videos and shit with? All right, so I was looking on Facebook, and I see. Uh, uh, on the job list, there's an application for a videographer for a paranormal team, Paranormal Investigators of Northern Minnesota. They're out of Isani. Shout out to them. Um, so I applied, and next thing you know, I'm making like a small promo video for them. And then they asked me if I want to go to, I'll go on a uh, ghost investigation with them. Okay. Right. Yep. And so I'm like, screw it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do it. So the investigation was down in Boyd, Minnesota. I've never heard of it before. Small ass town, south, um, southwest Minnesota, down there. Um, about three hours away. So we get to this place and it's an old house and, uh, the, the, the team that's there with me, they walk in and they're already like saying hello to the ghosts and stuff. And it was just really, it was really weird. They walked in, they were saying yeah. like, hello to the ghosts. I was like, shit, these guys are the real deal. Like, <laughs> they're like, they're already talking to these guys. We're going to be here for, so we're there for two days. Yeah. Um, we got to eat there. We got to sleep there. Basically, do whatever we want. Two Was nights. it like catered, or you like made your meals? We would have we, we brought our own food and stuff. Sandwiches. Oh. 
It's like <laughs> we're making them hot dogs and weenies, <laughs> <laughs> fucking mac and you cheese. Gotta, you got to get the Halloween board ready. Oh, shit. Oh, is, that gotta hit us with is there a Halloween board? Yeah. There is. You got to yeah. hit us with the dun, 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 every now and then. We're, we're going to wait for that. Then we're going to continue okay. with this one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I don't even know if I'm on the right ones here. <laughs> no, that's right. Okay, um, yeah. But I know, so was it last episode you guys were talking about it? Uh, no, last bit. episode we didn't really talk about it. We did it off air. Yeah, we talked you. to you yeah, before. We yeah. And then yeah. we were like, we need to talk but about it. But you mentioned Freddie wanted fuck. I did that little part. <laughs> we're going to get to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's going to be post break. Let's fall off, uh, but post continue. break. Okay. Um, uh, first, Leave us with the cliffhanger, Jake. We'll see how cliffhanger. good you are here. All right. What's, what time are we looking at here? 20. 20 minutes? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so we get here. Uh, they have, like, their devices out. They have a good camera. Um, how long have these guys been doing this? Uh, I'm actually not sure. But I think kind of a while. They have, well, like, they're invested. They, yeah, they. I mean, they have more likes than even we do on the podcast, just Ooh, for local. I, I don't take much. <laughs> <laughs> they have like they have a good, uh, decent following. I want to say like twenty two hundred. S- well, likes everybody on likes Facebook. that kind of thing. You know, well, everyone's intrigued by it. Even if you don't believe it, you want to hear about it. Well, and that's the reason why I yeah, wanted to join sure. so much, and that's why I'm so interested. Is because we were talking about the uh, Ouija board thing. Like, you can move it, you know, and you watch all these ghost shows, and like. Is that actually true? Yeah. So that's why it makes me so interested to you're, do that because I want to know if it's real for myself. You're one, a skeptic. One trick, I, I'm a huge skeptic. Everything can be like solved by science, I feel like. One trick sure. that I recently caught on to was uh, I was – this is weird side note. They were t- they, that bomber that was in uh, – Nashville. 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 They played that in reverse, but they put the words on the screen that they wanted you to hear. Oof. You know what I mean? It was oh. like Merry Christmas or something. Yeah, same. Like, and I was the, like, the EVP stuff. Yeah, if you the put fuck? the words, it's no different than if you put the words on. Like, if you put the words on the screen, you're gonna hear what that what, is. What, what you yeah. see. Your brain yeah. tricks you. But this is different. The story you got going on here. Well, a little bit. So, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll say so. They have like, they they use some like cell phone application or uh, applications uh, on their cell phone to communicate with ghosts and stuff. Right. And, like, a part of me is, like, it's a cell phone app. Yeah. You know, it's right. an app, like, I don't know how real it is, you know, and stuff. And uh, they had this kind of thing that worked like an ovulus. I don't know if you know what an ovulus is. That's a big word. It is kind of a big word. <laughs> um, basically, ghosts give off, like, electromagnetic field, like, energy, right? And this right. ovulus is, like, a it's like a database of words, and this ghost can manipulate, manipulate it. it with the... Uh, EMF like energy yeah. stuff, and then like, so can, pick, like pick a word to pop up on the screen. Yeah, so you can say okay. something without saying something. Yeah, it'll just yeah. the word, the text will just pop on screen. Yeah. Well, we're here. They have uh, they have that little device going on, right? It's saying a couple words. It's kind of going off, kind of not. And then I'm in the other room, kind of getting my camera stuff ready. And then I hear him, Jake, Jake, Jake. And I walk over, I'm like, "What's up?" And they show me the screen. And it says Jake right on the thing. I was like, "So you're oh, saying shit. you're saying the ghost like." The ghost said, knew your Jake. name. Yep, I I guess so. That so, I I kept saying the whole time, like I want to see something here. Like so, if I come here, I want something to happen to me. And then then they were explaining how like well now yeah now oh, they fuck. know it's you yeah. So just random shit just comes up on this phone. Yeah, d- bas- random words all the yeah. time. Yeah, sometimes yes. they make sense, sometimes they don't. But it right. is yeah. weird because they said it's never popped with Jake before. And like okay. for it to be a name's a little weird, and for it to yeah. be a name. I was uh, part of a group, you, yeah. <laughs> and I've been saying, "Show me something!" though the whole time when I was there, that was oh, on the that was, I think that was on the first shit. night. You talking a lot of shit? Oh, there's more shit coming up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did talk some shit. Yeah, the first I probably night. shouldn't do that to the ghost. You know, like talk shit to yeah, him. Yeah, call him out. Like, call him I'll out. I'll fucking knock you up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> you're gonna be hit with the watch out, watch out, watch out, bang. <laughs> but but the obvious thing you can't you can't speak. Uh, it, it it doesn't take any audio, so I can't say Jake, 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 and the phone and have it pop up. You can't type. Your own text into it to have it pop up, like it pops up randomly, okay. automatically. Own thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's weird. It is weird, and I'm still like skeptic on it because like it's a cell phone app. You don't know. Yeah. But then they have like these EMF readers, electromagnetic field energy, and if there's a ghost nearby, it's like I'm sure you've watched some ghost shows where it's like green and it kind of yep. goes to yellow and then like red. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, it'll, it'll spike up and stuff, and that will go off here and there and stuff, and. We'll leave you off of a cliffhanger. You said Freddie oh, wanted to shit. fuck. We're, 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 I will tell you Freddie is soon. Come back. Well, hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. So before we go to break, I got a little bit of a surprise. All right. We're going to hit this after the tail end, after Jake finishes his story. But right before we go to break, I want to give you this. Who? This is from Scientific Girls. It is a... Is it a Scientific Girls shirt? It's a Scientific Hell Girls yeah. shirt. Is this the and, first one? And, yeah. Well, it's the third one. But, oh, and, man. And <laughs> I brought myself... An air fryer! An air fryer! An air fryer. <laughs> an air fryer. <laughs> Why do we have I an got air fryer? some hot sauce and I want you to try it. 
We're going to do this after the break. We're going to air fire in the studio. <laughs> Let's go. It's time for a bathroom break. The boys will be right back. Okay, on tap with boys. Back from the bathroom break. Yes. In the middle of some spooky shit, some crazy shit happened before bathroom break. <laughs> yeah. Air fryer, that's coming up. There's a but fucking air fryer in the studio. Before we get to Jake's story, and there's Scientific Rose on Facebook. She is our streamer. She is our streamer. I've been streaming with her a lot lately because I've been a lazy, unemployed piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been awesome. She's. She, I think she's probably eventually going to do giveaway here with those, but just... just we got... Go like her on Facebook, Scientific If Rose. you want to know how good she is... We got two dubs this morning. Oh, um, two fucking fat dub so, skis on board. You got to start streaming too, dude. <laughs> That's all I do is play games. So, yeah. Jake, <laughs> where were we? All right. Uh, I, I talked about the obvious thing popping up my name. Yep. But now we're going to get into the, the more interesting part. Probably one of the freakier parts. Yeah, this um, is weird, man. It is kind of funny, though. All right. So, supposedly, this Boyd house, uh, this guy named Fred died upstairs. Okay. Uh, heart attack, I think. Something How like that. How many people died there like, total? Uh, I think it was just like him. Maybe the maybe the wife wasn't anything. But th- but but they think it's haunted as well as a part of the land because the land was connected to the, or the house is like connected to the railroad okay. that runs right through uh, there. That's what okay. kind of put the city on the map. It's a really small town too. And that house, I believe they said it was the first house in the town. So it's like must be the oldest one then. If okay, it's the first one there. I assume. Yeah. Um, Math. But. Anyways, so Fred <laughs> supposedly died, so we're trying to get they're trying to get in contact with Fred and stuff. Well, the second night, I'm going downstairs to shower, and <laughs> I come back upstairs and I see like part of the team, all the paranormal dudes. Um, they kind of have like their devices out and they're trying to like I don't know what they're doing. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing up here? And then right. and um, they're like, oh, we're just you know trying to get in contact, you know. Fred and stuff. So downstairs showering, come upstairs. These guys are doing their thing. I ask them what's going on. And then they're like, do you want to ask a question? I was like, sure. All right. Yeah. And, I mean, up, and up to this point, you had said they they weren't having any luck. Uh, there, there was some stuff like beeping a little bit, but it wasn't anything like Nothing crazy. Significant. And I just got up there and, you know, and so yeah. sometimes those, those EMF readers will go off just because there's other, like a cell phone by them and like other devices. Right. So, so it'll beep a little bit. No, nah, nothing crazy, I guess. Cause so they're basically sitting there watching this meter, and they're asking questions and saying stuff, hoping that it goes way deep off. Yeah, and right? I'm down showering and stuff, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, and see, supposedly not much is going on. Yep. So I come upstairs, and they're like, do you want to ask a question? I was like, yeah. sure, you know. It's kind of weird. It's <laughs> sure. kind of yeah. weird asking a question that, you know, you're just asking a question in the, into an empty room. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's right. Kind of, right. It's, it's a weird concept. Weird. It is. And I'm surrounded by it, so we're good. But anyways, we're going to get to the point. I ask, hey, Fred, were you downstairs watching me shower? <laughs> Bro. Bro. I was trying to be funny with it. Yeah. And then uh, the EMF thing starts kind of like tweaking out and shit. And Just then they had like a little twerking. they had a little uh, touchscreen pad thing. So if you would touch it, it would make a little fingerprint uh, thing on there, and it would kind of beep. And yep. that thing went off right when I said that thing, too. Oh. Like, Freddy, were you downstairs Fuck. watching me? And then I was just making gay jokes to Freddy, saying that he was, you know, Fred, yeah. was, Fred was gay and stuff, and he wanted me, and he was, like, looking at me in the shower. And I was like, oh, well, there's enough room for both of us in the shower, you know? <laughs> Dude, it was the weirdest thing. It was either, like, it was true, or it was this my, very timed. My brain well. wants to think that he was just standing there, like, listening to these dudes talk, all, you know, bored and shit. And then you come up and say that, and he's like, no. And he's touching all your shit. <laughs> he's, like, shattering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not true at all. <laughs> Dude, it, it was super weird, like. It must have been either amazing timing right after the question, right. or it was actually something Fred Fred fucking wants. Fred to do. got really nervous, is what it was. <laughs> so my, like, wait a minute, no. My thought is that Fred is sitting in the corner of the shower and he's watching Jake and he's like, "You shouldn't use that shampoo. That's ruining Dude, your the hair." The shower, the shower in there was literally like wall to wall. Yeah, so it's tight. Yeah, it was a Fred, huge. It was really small. Okay, it was really small. You're actually your head would probably be fucking like sitting like this. <laughs> yeah, it was really <laughs> short too. I mean, you're five nine, so maybe you could have sent there. Five nine shower, I love it. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, I was just making uh, you know gay jokes to Fred the rest of the night, and I don't think it's really cool to intimidate a ghost. <laughs> now yeah, that I think no. about it, but it, you know, if it makes him more active, then maybe I have to do it more. So you went to I sleep so. that night. Yeah, then, okay. I kind of feel dumb talking about this part because okay. like I don't know if it's weird or not, but I'll fucking say it anyways. <laughs> I I'm down. Well, we're all in the living room downstairs, 
and I'm sleeping on the side of the the wall or whatever, the, the little couch, and I can see basically the whole living room. Everyone else has air mattresses, and they're on the floor, obviously. Um, so then I wake up around like six thirty or so, and I kind of like open my eyes, and there's like a white mist that's like four feet tall, and it kind of floats to the right. And then it goes to the left, and it kind of goes out of the room. And I, and I sat there, and I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, trying to, like, explain it to yeah, yourself. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah, ca- I thought it was sure. car headlights. Yep. And then I'm like, there wasn't really, like, a window over there. It was, like, on the dark side of the room. I was like, what the fuck is that, you know? Yeah. It bugged me the whole car ride home. I'm three and a half hours away. And I was like, what the fuck was that? And I thought it was one of the team members, like, laying down. You know, I thought they, like, put their arm up in the air, stretching maybe, you know, with the sheet. But they were all yep. sleeping, so they couldn't have done that. Oh, fuck. Ah, and then I was like, spooky. I'm a skeptic, though. Like, what was that shit? I, d- I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But it makes me want to go back, though, and, like, absolutely do other places. And they do have, um, we're going to be investigating. Uh, we're going to try to do one place every month. Okay. There you go. Maybe a couple places in the same trip, but right. so you're off soon. Right now. You're off soon to go again, aren't you? I think they want to go to the Palmer House in Sox Center, like February first and second. I think we're okay. still trying to get details on that, but they have okay. a trip planned to like Missouri and oh some other local areas. I thought so. maybe it was just like Minnesota, but this is like they, they, they they've gone moved. to like Iowa and stuff, and it's cool because I think there's a uh, Edinburgh is Edinburgh Manor is a place. And I believe that one's in Iowa. And, like, Ghost Adventures have been there and stuff. Okay. So it's, like, a real deal place for, like, if you want to go ghost hunting, yep. I guess. But the whole concept of ghost hunting seems kind of ridiculous to me. Yeah. But I want to, you know, I've always wanted to, like, first of all, I've always wanted to do video stuff. And I've always loved ghost stuff. So I, you right. know, I filmed stuff for the Hayride. That's all the fake ghost stuff. And now yep. I can do the real ghost stuff. Yeah. And, I don't know, just a fun side hobby to do and make sweet. some cool videos. And for sure. Have fun Absolutely. with it. And so they're going to make you sleep in some bedroom or something. You sent me a screenshot earlier. They're oh, yeah. They were talking uh, about the Palmer house, and yep. they, were, they, were, they were renting out some rooms. and so I, they, they got some rooms and stuff, and they are like, oh, we should put Jake in Annie's room. I was just kind of looking at it, and oh, I was like, fuck. and I was kind of like, oh, who's Annie, like, in my mind? And then David, which is our lead investigator, and he's like, I, or, I think it was him, but. Oh, that's the the girl that hates guys. I was like, oh yeah, put me in there. You know? <laughs> Feed him to the sharks. So, but, how is your what's your outlook then so far? Do do you still your big skeptic? Like, don't believe in it? it at all, or what? I mean, I still think I'm still skeptic. Okay, yeah. Well, the weird thing is, like, I've gone to this thing called like Paracon, which is up north, and a bunch of like Ghost Hunter guys have been there, Ghost Adventures guys have been there, people from the TV shows, a bunch of local paranormal groups. Everyone gets together, talk about ghosts and stuff, right? Yep. yep. And there's so many ghost shows and everything. It's just Something has to be there if there's all these ghost shows yeah. and conventions yeah. and stuff. Like, I'll, but I'll, at the same time, it's just the like, money grab too. Yeah, that's a, yeah. yeah that's a I, I would I would I would agree that maybe some of those shows are probably fibbing a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, 100%. Put, putting the words on the screen to make you hear what they want you to hear. Yes. Uh, but but at the same time, there's some stuff that you can't explain. Yeah. Oh, There's some yeah. weird stuff going on. Well, even like my credit score. How the fuck do you explain that? <laughs> yeah, what? I mean, well, what? even like you know <laughs> the thing popping up my name. I don't know. It's a cell phone application. Yeah. Could be real. Could not be real. The whole thing of me asking if Freddie was watching me. You know, scrub myself, scrub yeah. my crevices. Yep. I don't know if that's <laughs> my crevices. I don't know if that's real, but it was really weird timing. You know. Yeah. And then uh, the whole white mist thing. I don't know if that was car headlights or some reflection or something else, but like. But the big thing is that it, got, it has you wondering. It has you yeah, involved. Dude, yeah. And that's huge. But it makes, it makes me want to do it, and it I'm excited it, to be with it them. It brings me full circle that I want you to know if a ghost will help you jerk off. Just <laughs> Not this again. You already talk, already that's Jake's about this. next question. That's like one of everybody. I'm like, hey, what's your favorite episode? Ghost masturbation. Ghost <laughs> masturbation. I'll tell Fred to come to your house if you want. All right. I got to go grab something out of the freezer. You got to grab something out of the freezer. Yep. You brought an air fryer. <laughs> Dawn's on it today. This shit's cold. It's going to take a while. Nope. Oh, wow. You're not freezing something or you're not cooking it, something? It, oh, he has to be cooking something. I'm scared. He's got, I'm wondering what he's he has. He's got 10 pounds of chicken wings. No, it's in his pocket. <laughs> I'd be all right with okay. with some chicken wings right now. All right, you're close. Okay. I brought you this is and the, all of us so we can try. Jake can try, too. This so is the Dalton what? segment of the episode. I brought some chicken nuggies. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are so, these this Walmart chicken nuggies? They are Walmart chicken nuggies. Okay. So, oh fuck. Well, we're gonna. I hope this air fryer isn't too loud. Welcome to Air Fryer ASMR so this podcast. Is the, the, <laughs> this is this is so much better than Frank's Red Hot. It's not even funny. Oh yeah, okay. you were talking about that stuff. Yeah. I had no idea what it was either. If you don't know how to run an air fryer, 
with chicken nuggies. Uh, three eighty for dude. That's a fancy one. Mine literally has two dials and it's three eighty for and five a minutes. Heat. And we're gonna see if this blows the power down here. Here we go. <laughs> Who's paying the power bill around here anymore? Uh, <laughs> Fuck Cody. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my tried and true tiger sauce. That's actually very quiet. I don't even think we can hear it. I don't think you can. Here, um, oh, well, the fourth mic is on, so I'll shut that off. There you go. Oh, yeah, perfect. Have you ever had or seen this? I have never seen that before. It okay. looks like something Conor McGregor would come up with. So yeah, it's <laughs> good point. Is it? Tiger tattoo on his chest. <laughs> so this is tiger sauce. It is... Some part of some try me brand, which is owned by Riley Foods. I, I looked all this up before I got here. Okay, big um, Riley Foods guy. That I so for like the last ten years, we've had to go get this. My mom would go get it from like uh, Chris's Foods or like one of the grocery yeah. stores. It's not Walmart. Yeah. Well, Walmart Walmart now carries this. There's like eight bottles sitting on the shelf over there at Walmart. Oof. We grab this one today. Up. This Snatch one, you're taking this one home. This is for you. Oh, you're gonna like it. Oh really? It's it's not like Well, I know you're not a hot sauce guy. Yeah, well I'm I'm excited for this. That is a misunderstanding. that's a misunderstanding. I love hot sauce. Just I hate Frank's Red Hot. It's trash. Because literally after the episode we talked about Frank's Red Hot, I went to Walmart and bought a bottle of Frank's Red Hot. (laughs) Yeah, you think he snapped us that. Dude, it's garbage. It's garbage. I've been putting on my pizza and everything is so good. <laughs> it's garbage. You're gonna. This is gonna be your new go-to. From what it this looks like l- over here, a little pepper flakes. Yeah. It looks like General Tao sauce. Yeah. So gonna, yeah, it's gonna give you that kind of vibe. It's it's sweet. It's hot. It's got the same uh, red pepper base as any other Louisiana hot sauce, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're based in Louisiana, but the stuff is bomb. Well, it says sweet heat on it. It does Just, say sweet heat. First reactions. I'm gonna give you a first reactions of the bottle here. We got sweet heat at the top. That's giving me some good vibes coming into it. Gonna make me feel good, make me feel comfortable <laughs> coming into this. So, and then we got a tiger on it, yep. which is gonna scare Arr. me. That's giving what, us the analytics of the, the bottle. That's the heat portion. Okay, <laughs> we need like a like a koala on, on top of the tiger because that's gonna give me sweet yeah. and then heat. Oh, the, I tiger's, <laughs> the tiger's a heat. You know, the koala's a sweet. They're gonna give so, you uh, actually. Uh, did you know that what is it like? All koalas have like 100 percent of them have uh, what it sex? No, va 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 va. What's that really bad STI that makes your brain mush? Oh, chlamydia? Yeah. All koalas have chlamydia. All of them. Every koala. <laughs> oh, shit. How? How's that? I don't know. It runs rampant in know. their shit. It's That's fucking weird. Fun fact. Anyway. <laughs> There's some holes in this house. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, little koalas. That, we got the original tiger sauce. So I'm, I'm excited about this, actually. Yeah. You want to hear the, the, uh, the owner's description? So it says the original tiger sauce is an exotic, moderately spicy blend of ingredients in a cayenne pepper base with a, with a touch of sweet and sour. It's perfect for meats, seafood, poultry, and it's delicious on sandwiches and dips and soups. And it's really, really watery, you know, so, just like, a, you know, yeah, hot sauce. What I usually do with that is I slap. So I'll, do, I'll slap that in some ranch. Uh, Absolutely. About, I throw about everything in ranch. Every about, sauce can go with ranch. Mm-hmm. Dude, for about sure. uh, 75, 25. So 75% ranch, 25%. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just finished like a liter and a half of ranch in like two weeks. And you I can feel buy this. Dude, I'm kind of, I don't want to sound like gay guys on this, but I'm a sauce slut, dude. I put barbecue, <laughs> dude. I put barbecue, Thousand Island. Like, I think we found the title everything. of the episode. <laughs> Jake's <laughs> sauce slut. Dude, I just... <laughs> I do some shit for some no. Thousand Island too. Dude, Thousand Island is so good. It is. It Fuck, is. Bro. I've, I've I found my, my way into like the, the uh, Thousand Island. What's that? Some vinaigrettes, dude. On like, if you have a salad and you throw some vinaigrette on there, I'm Ooh. a big ranch guy, dude, but vinaigrette can do some Caesar's, damage. Caesar sauce does some shit. To Caesar's me too. good. Oh, but dude, like, but it's like so like. Uh, I put it on my chicken strips too. Yeah, chicken strips, Caesar. Yeah, you but, guys hate blue cheese. Yeah, I'm not a big blue cheese guy. Mm. I put. You guys put like what kind of sauce did you put on your hot dogs? Is it only ketchup? I put barbecue on my hot dogs. I'm a, I'm a relish I guy. Weird. I like relish. I do relish like relish. Good. I make sure I put relish on it. Jalapenos. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, other than that, I'm only ke- mostly ketchup. I do like ketchup. I, I dude, enjoy ketchup. Like I chicken, though? Like throw anything on chicken. Oh, fuck have good. yeah, bro. Oh, dude, you can't. Um, okay, don't get me wrong. You can fuck up chicken. But I actually made, with this sauce, I took ranch. It was fi- like 50-50 ranch in that. And I'm, I mixed it all up. I threw some flour in there because it was a little too runny. Yep. And I put it on chicken wings and cooked them in this bad boy. Yep. They were good. So you tossed them before you put them in? Before I put them in there. Oh. Did, it, did it all drip, though, in, in there? Well, it, what it did is he because of the flour, it, like, puffed up, and then it caramelized this because this is very, like, oh, So you cook things in here, like, homemade shit in that? 
I had never done it. I just got this. I have no idea how to use this thing. You, you got this? I asked Google everything. Dude, I literally, <laughs> the only thing I've ever cooked, an air fryer, okay, chicken nuggies, chicken, <laughs> chicken strips, pizza rolls, egg rolls, you know, yeah, things I've that are people, like. I've seen people cook like steak in yeah, that stuff. There's people that put nuts. steak. It has so much capabilities. They put funny. raw meat in there. They put fucking all this People make shit. jokes about these damn dude, things being like incredible. hipster, but dude, these dude, are changing the game. It's freaking awesome. Fucking unreal. We have one, but it's not like, that. that big. Chicken Nuggies, five minutes. Is that a problem for anybody? Way better than in a fucking microwave. They're not soggy. I'm going to go check the camera time real quick. Yeah, okay. you're on it. I, yeah. And pizza, have you put pizza rolls in it yet? You said you just got it? All right. I fucked up. The pizza rolls were five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have put pizza rolls in it. Yeah. So what do you think about pizza My rolls bad. and the chicken? Let's get a, a review. We're going to do five more minutes. <laughs> okay, what's your review on pizza rolls in the in the air fryer? Did, oh, dude. Dude. It ain't even a competition. Incredible. Right, better than there. the oven because you don't have to waste so goddamn long. Yep. And better than the microwave because they're not soggy and they I've don't blow up. I've never put them in the oven before. So I'll take back what I said <laughs> in the beginning. 380, five minutes. For for pizza rolls, they're perfectly crisp and they will not blow up. <laughs> See, that's my problem. I was gonna talk about on the- tap recipes. We're gonna See, have a whole page. Okay, <laughs> here's my problem. I got the cheap air fryer where it's just a dial that says the time. Okay, and all the times are rubbed off already. They don't say my time. Well, yeah, so you're, I just gu- you're guesstimating. I know around you where it's thir- so much that you rubbed off the number. I know around where like twelve minutes is. Okay, and I just cook everything at twelve minutes. So and then go for sim- another is 12. it similar? Is it similar to like a pizza oven? The dial is like a timer. Or is it it's, like... It looks exact same as yours, except for instead of digital, it's two dials. Oh. One's, well, we, one's degree, one's time. Well, we and got I have my degree just gift. maxed out. We got this as a <laughs> wedding gift. We actually got we got two of them on an accident, so we need to figure that out. But, yeah. Air fryer giveaway. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> yeah. Air fryer, uh, and I hear Instapots are badass, too, but I heard that serious. Too. There was a, a post that said that everybody with air fryer acts like they're fucking doctors at adulting. Uh, like they got they're, a master's in adulting. Yeah, and then somebody said, I have an Instapot, so I got a PhD in adulting. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I know what an Instapot is. I might just Google it. It's like right a now. pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker crock pot, I think. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I have seen those. Yeah, things. it's like a combo and You can thing. make some wild ass shit. And yeah. I, I do like my crock pot. But mainly the only thing I ever put in it is pulled pork, pork butt. Just make pulled pork. Yeah, I did that. We I had pulled pork on Saturday. Yeah, still rolling through it. So fucking good. I w- almost gave you a raw chicken nugget there. Oh, <laughs> well, it's from Tyson Walmart, so then. they're probably pre cooked. Oh, pre cooked. Yeah, it's Tyson. They're probably good, man. Yeah. I found out recently that uh, Walmart or, uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets are actually made by Tyson, just specific for McDonald's. Really? Yeah. Fuck my. I did not know that. Yeah, Tyson Chicken Nuggies. It's kind of funny when people are like, do you even know what are in those things? I was like, I don't know, but they taste good. Okay, <laughs> here's I don't know here, what's anything. Here's a very here's a very controversial fucking topic. We're we're far in. We're far in, okay? So a- we weeded out the week at this point, okay? Maybe on Facebook some random people are going to pop in right now. But here's my outlook, okay? If you know how to cook something right, I will eat it and not care, okay? Yep. This is cuz if I go into a third world country and they know how to cook monkey, I'm going to eat fucking monkey. <sighs> Dude, if they know if they can cook cat good, I'll eat cat. I feel like any, like any meat will be good as long as you like cook it right and season if it right. They know how to do it right. Good. Fuck it, I'm in. I if, I, I couldn't. I can't eat a monkey. I can't really? eat a monkey, man. Oh shit, I go for monkey. What if you, well, if you didn't know it was a monkey? If I didn't know it was a monkey, I'd probably eat it yeah. and compliment it. But I'm saying that's the problem. If you tell me it's monkey, I'd be like, I'm gonna stay away from that. I don't like that's anything to too. do with that. I've been to some Chinese places where it, there's been hair when chickens supposed to have feathers. Oh, dude. But, hey, here's the thing. No, that if be... you're cooking some shit, tell me what it is. If you can cook it good, I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to be mad about it. Just tell me what it is. You can uh, you can get be you can be fooled a little bit because the, sure. the down sure. underneath I didn't make the a feathers. big deal about it. Oh, right. No. I'm just saying, like, duck, being oh, a duck hunter, <laughs> there's <laughs> down underneath them feathers, and if you were to singe it, it does look like a hair. Okay. Dude, this is all back in, I went to, you know, Rush City High School. Uh-huh. My, uh, I think it was my my buddy Brody, chicken wings oh. lunchtime. There was like some feathers and shit in the wing. Yep, it's fucking gross. Attached to it. Yep. Thanks, yeah. Michelle Obama. Yeah, where it was she on that one? Fucking health food. <laughs> he was like showing everyone. Look, there's hair on my wing. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. What's the coolest shit you've ever found in your food? What's like the craziest shit you've ever found in your food? I don't know that I found anything crazy. I mean, other than hair, you know. Yeah, Sometimes it's like I got long hair, but like there's like a three foot hair in there. Oh, I had buckshot. Oh yeah, but or yeah. a bullet. Got yeah. a bullet in ribs before. Oh wow! Like at a restaurant? No. Nah. Oh, I was like, nah. damn, homemade venison <laughs> well, ribs. My, okay. Bullet. I haven't found anything weird, but my mom. We went to uh, Old Chicago, I believe, up in Duluth 
or something. Old Chicago, like the restaurant. Yeah, there's one on, uh, yeah, um, Canal Park. Uh, she got like some, she got something, came with a salad. There was like a caterpillar on the oh, leaf. What? Oh, yeah. I've heard that. There was somebody that worked at a uh, 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 sub sandwich restaurant. <laughs> no, <laughs> guess who it is? <laughs> and they had found crickets in the in the bag of lettuce. Really? Yeah. How how does that? They, how dude, do they that's end what up they eat. There? They just chill in there to get grabbed. The system doesn't catch them, and that's the end of that. Fuck, dude. Isn't that weird? Fuck. That's crazy. That's so gross. All right, these got to be that done. That probably would spook me. I'll call. Oh, them. they're sizzling. I'll call. I can oh. hear them from here. Oh, uh, give a little ASMR taste for that. <laughs> the sizzle. Oh, you can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think I could hear it before. Is it gonna be a little smoking hot? I'm just gonna put them on the table. Okay, but the sweet heat's gonna make it good. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get the last one. Everyone touched the. the, the <laughs> everyone, Throw everyone one. touches it. Throw them once. So nah, I, you're, one you're good. Nope. <laughs> this is how you uh, survive COVID by getting dirty. Yeah, yeah no go, shit. Let's go eat some dirt after this. All right. So there's your. There's this have, table's completely clean too. Nothing's ever been spilled, and it's been <laughs> very well cleaned. So we need these to cool down. <laughs> Oh shit! So how did you? Why did you come up with this idea? I really like the because the whole concept Cody gets it. all butt hurt when I say Frank's Red Hot sucks, and it does. It's not. A, I don't know why so many. Okay, I said online that Frank's Red Hot is the Budweiser of hot sauces, meaning everybody likes it, but you don't brand. know a single person that. Okay, no, not true. Oh, for but for Budweiser, everybody likes it, but no one goes to the bar and orders that shit. That's true. Yeah, well, uh, you said Budweiser know. heavy. There's, oh, okay, Bud Light, whatever. Yeah, but he, yeah, I guess it's always my second choice. But there's probably some people. But it's the king of beers or whatever. For Cody, Cody's got a big hard on for Frank's Red Hot. Though. Dude, he like defends it. Like he gets hostile. <laughs> he does. He did he gets, that episode. <laughs> he, he got he mad did, online. He did get pretty, he online, did. he just starts no, dropping all these, all these uh, gifs, gifs, whatever you want to call yeah. them. Um, and he's just be, he's just he gets a little so- salty, a little you salty. Beat the hell out of I have news for you, Dalton. You're safe now. You don't I have to worry safe. about him. Damn right, I'm safe. safe. Place. <laughs> you don't have to worry about. I'm gonna him reset no the cameras real quick. So I, you guys still oh talk. shit! Yeah. Right. So I forgot Steam. to bring a dipping thing. Okay. So we're gonna have to little, little dabble, do ya? Um, unless we got a shot glass, we want to torture. It might not. Uh, yeah. There's little shot glasses back there. Just found them, thanks to Cody. Cody, so Cody moved in a in a very fucking fast hurry. Hey Jake, I inherited a lot of shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I heard this. <laughs> so, but in the back room, we have all of his bottles of liquor from his at-home bar. There is so much fucking liquor back there. Oh, there's a ton. Oh, my God. we. I thought he was taking it, but he didn't. We could get so far. He has no room. He's got no... He's got no... Uh, <laughs> we need to get your review of this here. He doesn't even have a fucking apartment. It's not crazy hot, so you can put a lot on there, and it's not going to end your life. Okay. Okay. Like that? Yep. <laughs> you go ahead and take a bite, and you tell me what you think of tiger okay, sauce. Good. Okay. Tiger sauce. Oh, As compared to Frank's Red Hot. If you don't like it, I'm going to be sad. Oh, no. Here we go. Tiger sauce. Should I do a smell? Or is it like a smell? No, yeah, it's a good smell. Definitely smells sweeter. Yep. Definitely smells sweeter than Frank's. Frank's like a, does have like does, a hot smell. It like burns Sweet, your It's nose. like a uh, spicy, sweet, and sour. It cleans me out a little bit. It cleans me out like sniff snuff. Yep. I'll see it. <laughs> you chomping in the mic. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Give me a second. Oh. No, you're good. You're good. The listeners need to What's know your that you're chewing What's your it. Th- what do you think of that? I literally don't. So there's no heat yet. I'm like, let me. Yeah, it's not hot. You, it's one of those things no. where you eat it, and it, you, then you're like, oh, there's a little something there. But, but it's, it's definitely sweeter. It it's doesn't. Sweet. It doesn't ruin your damn meal. It doesn't just scorch your mouth because it's trash. <laughs> but, but, but then this brings back to the thing that you think that Frank's Red Hot is so <laughs> hot that it fucking fucks everything up. It does ruin your meal. It, it overpowers is, the flavor of whatever the hell you're eating. Definitely how do you how do you have seventy five percent ranch and twenty five percent that though? If it is it too spicy? No, you no, it's just a beautiful. Ranch. I want ranch. I feel I like that would add a great taste. Oh, to ranch. dude, it is it's beautiful. I feel like this stuff is just like general Tao sauce mixed in with like sweet and sour. Yeah, that's, nah, that's a, that's a weird representation because that that makes it sound like it's just pure sugar. And yeah, it's like, and it's like thick. This is I like feel like it's watery. an American made. Wannabe version of a Chinese sauce with the tiger, yeah, it's pretty good. I do oh, like I, it. I, I do I like, like it. it though. I'll, I'll I'll dunk my nuggets in there. Yeah, I dunk some nuggets. I picked nuggets because that's all I had. Oh, for sure, <laughs> nuggets are always good. I I oh shit! Official review. Fuck, we're not doing that shit. Fuck those reviews. Yeah, official beer taste. Frank's Red Hot is trash. Get yourself some tiger sauce. Become a real man. Bushlight, ten out of ten. 
Keep it real. Um. Well, fuck. We had to reset the cameras twice. So fuck. So well, what's your review no, on th- that? Th- there was like 15 minutes left on them. So okay. Yeah. You, you can still go for another yeah. 10, 15 all right, minutes. All right, all right, all right, all right. We never hit any scary shit. Yeah, we did. Jake said uh, a ghost was trying to touch I know, him. I know, I know. But oh, I on never, the board. I oh. never hit any. Fuck. Why isn't it working? Oh. Jake's getting jerked off by Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, too far. <laughs> My glass is frosting up. My bush light glass is frosting up. Full it's of, so uh, chilly. Full of vodka. Mm-hmm. Can't believe you're still sipping that. I put mine in the fridge. That was strong. Yeah. Oh, 30%. Sure. That bites. Is it less strong now that the ice has melted a little bit? Yeah, it's getting better. Mm-hmm. I don't think it does you any favors. It's treat me good. <laughs> I just heard Jake clear his fucking oh. mouth. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ASMR. Oh, shit. <laughs> what do we got going next week? Um, we're gonna get some. I'm, we're gonna try some line some shit up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to line some shit up, shit up with the local local new business. So we had well, well next week I'm going to Wyoming with Tucker. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be fucking sweet. So we're gonna have to record should, a little late. You but. should make him listen to the podcast all the way there, dude. Eight. So we're driving 18 hours to Wyoming. So we got a total of 36 hours. But he's flying back. Fucking pussy. So I got 18 hours by yourself on the way home. How no, does, how's this flight getting back? I'm driving it back. Oh, you should say no. <laughs> <laughs> I should say I'm leaving it there. Let's just come with me. But uh, so I got 18 hours to make Tucker listen to 18 episodes of On Tap with the Boys. Yes. So he's gonna get. So he's already listened to some of them. So I'm gonna get him to episode 20 because <laughs> that means he only listened to. It two. is funny. I didn't did, didn't know what the Dude, Jesus picture looked like. He doesn't <laughs> know. He literally. It is. It actually is funny how he fucking listens to none of this. He, ever since the beginning, he said that he hates the sound of his voice, so he will not listen to it. And I hated the sound of my voice when I used to watch videos and shit, but our audio quality is so good that, you know, when you play video games and doing this, you get audio feedback in your headphones, you yeah. can hear yourself. Right. And it's audio so good that when it comes published, you sound exactly how, kind of how I think. So it doesn't bother me at all. Right. I, I always had an issue, you know, listening to myself or whatever, but after yeah. like two episodes, I was like, that was so much fun. I don't even care. And I like to I like to watch the premieres now that we do that on Facebook. Yeah, I do struggle. Like if I had to edit it, I'd probably not like that. Yeah, listening the whole time. Yeah, dude. When I when I edited the the video, um, the the twin episode, my brother and I, you know, like you're supposed like if we have three cameras going on, I whoever's talking, I focus on there. I can't even tell. <laughs> I, dude, <laughs> your brother? I, I can't even tell the difference yeah. between Max and I sometimes. I didn't even, I didn't even think about like, that. Like the the camera will be on me and I'm not talking. I was like. Hold up. Oh, that's my brother. And I couldn't really see him. He couldn't really see his mouth moving because he has a hand like this or something the whole yeah, time. Yeah, okay. It was kind of, it was weird. It, it is weird to edit. No, yeah. but I think, I like this. I like this a lot. It's a nice setup. Yeah. For sure. Good quality. But yeah, Tucker, we're going to get him to listen because he doesn't listen to shit. So. Yeah. But yeah, I like to listen to all the, uh, I like to watch the premieres and like interact with people because yeah. a lot of people think that it's, that it's live. It is funny. Yeah, it is funny. Yeah, we need to make something clear. The premiere is just premiering the video. Yeah. We're not actually live right now. I wonder if there is there a way <laughs> to actually do that, I think, to go live. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We could go live whenever what do you we need, want like, to. I wonder how you do that. I guess you probably wouldn't be able to do it with, like, regular DS. You could. If you, you, if you, you have hook those up to your, to your uh, computer, I'm pretty sure you, you could. Just have, you just need a computer. So you guys, well, you guys have done, like, a online uh, chat room call, video call thing, right, with... There was some app that I know, and then Cody went live. Are on you it. talking those cam girl shit? I've never no, done that. no, no, no. Like it was all of you guys. <laughs> you guys are playing games and customer or not customers. Uh, listeners could just join and you guys some room thing. Yeah, what, yeah. Me and Cody that did that. You, it was just you and Cody. Okay. What was you that? guys should do that. I can't remember. Can't what remember called. what that was, but that was pretty good. That was fuck. That had to be like episode five. I mean, that way was back when. That was like back. right. Well, that I was that and that was episode five of audio. This was before we did any video. Oh, I don't remember this at all, It was just man. me and Cody, and we had, like, ten mm. people. It was all of our local people. And Must we, have missed the invites. Cool. We were just, like, drinking and <laughs> shit and talking. Pretty fun. We can do that again now that we're fucking ginormous. Yeah. Ginormous. No, okay, we're getting I, Adrian Peterson's yeah. lawyer's daughter on. <laughs> yeah, fuck. We need to line that up. We need to line up. Yeah, so, fuck. I said it last episode. But, yeah, if you got anybody that wants to promote anything, getting huge. hit us up. Get huge. Uh, I watched a video today. Some of the biggest YouTubers has like 40 million subscribers now. I think he's actually over 50 now. The, he started seven years ago. In his first year, he had 700 subscribers on 
YouTube. Uh-huh. So we are behind him. Okay. <laughs> but but I'm just saying. We need a big know, push. It goes slow. It goes slow Do us first. a favor. If you got a Gmail, you got a YouTube. Log in. Just subscribe oh, to us. Well, we're kind of fucking. We kind of don't really care about YouTube anymore. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, still on. It all matters. It just kind of gets uploaded. Yeah, and... YouTube is all fucking communism now, anyway. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but we uh, wow, we, we're gonna get kicked off YouTube before we're on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Calling them out, dude. Yeah, well. Our our hundred viewers. Are gonna... I'm just glad we don't stream to Twitter. <laughs> oh shit! God. Twitter's still a thing. I I deleted mine the other day. Doesn't Facebook own Twitter now? No. Who owns Twi- Twitter? Uh, Twitter. Instagram. Oh. Instagram is owned by Facebook. That's really? What that's what you're thinking of. Okay. That just happened recently, right? Uh, in the past year. A couple of years. Yeah. What else happened couple recently? So we talked about how rich Bezos was. Yeah, he ain't the fucking richest no more. Yeah. Elon Musk fucking squashed his ass. Yep. How Stomped crazy. It. How crazy. Dude, going Unreal. to space is dope. Space is pretty dope. I was telling this to somebody. I forget who it was, but... Oh, it was you. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were <laughs> at the bar. We were probably <laughs> drinking on... I, if that I was had Monday. Guess, Monday, drinking so at the bar. the fact that um, Jeff Bezos is like, just his riches are from Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, they have their own shit and other stuff, but yep. mainly just Amazon. Maybe Amazon Prime, Amazon yeah. Video, Amazon... Elon Amazon Musk everything. is yeah. like, uh, I want to make a flamethrower uh, mm-hmm. in an electric car, and we're also going to go to Mars. Like, just Dude. random, <laughs> just... Anything the dude was like, had, and then he's doing that underground car freaking zoom. Oh play yeah, thing. yeah, fuck yeah. The yeah. boring company and stuff. Like he just. I'll look into that more. And uh, he started yes. his riches with PayPal. Like he's What's just that called. It's a yeah. It's an underground train that's going under California. It's supposed to be like a what do you call those fucking super fast trains? Somebody is in the <laughs> fucking screaming at us right now. Oh, I was talking about. I know what oh, you're talking about. Yeah, uh, in in California uh, or something. Is this allowing them? Yeah, bore fucking tunnels under a city. Well, I, I thought care. that Go was. I thought that was for his cars. Remember the car? Well, any car. Any car can line up on oh, it. It grabs the cars? car and. Oh yeah, he's doing big shit though. He, that was a couple years ago. They brought that. He on. is he's, fucking like making us into the next. He the started next level. He of started technology. with PayPal and he sold it in like 2002 for 1.5 billion. I still don't have PayPal. No, it's trash. It's in, he sold to eBay never it. and it's not trustworthy. I've I've been screwed over so many times. There's like somebody that tried buying camera equipment for Dude. two grand. Amazon ended. My bank too. called me and they're like, yeah, this guy doesn't even, one, he doesn't have two grand. And two, he never makes purchases this big. So they blocked the block the purchase. I was like, thanks, Spire. Well, there's a, <laughs> well, there's a big thing with uh, eBay that you could say you, sh- oh, well, people would buy things. You'd ship it out, but their payment wouldn't go through. And then you'd fucking out your shit. Yeah. Or people would pay, you'd send it, and then they can dispute it and get their well, fucking money back. I think they've back. got a lot of buyer and seller it's protections now. It's right? fucking weird though. I, yeah. I mean, Amazon is killer. You can get anything on Amazon. The yeah. only, if you can't get on Amazon, like children, Wayfair. Yep. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's never gonna die with you, is it? Amazon or Wayfair. Oh, <laughs> That's all you oh, need. <laughs> That's hilarious. Get yourself an air fryer. Air fryer, Amazon. Maybe Wayfair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Wayfair is. Uh, I don't know. It's like furniture. The, um, furniture. Oh, and okay. apparently, Wayfair, you got just what I need. Is that really it? That's their jingle. Wow. You're with the times. I know. I'm very relevant. Oh, there we go. We got to go plow snow, boys. <laughs> All right. See you. We'll see you later, fellas. Everybody, you got any parting words for us, Jake? Uh, oh, shit. Don't let Freddy um, get you. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> don't let Freddy get you. Don't let Freddy get you. Wise words. Thanks for listening to On Tap with the Boys. Be sure to follow us on social media and stay updated. Tune in next week for another episode about Tyler's problems. One we, thing one thing I do want to say about the outro, I always feel like we're done when the outro is going, so we're always like taking off our yeah. headphones, even though, like, oh, we still have another part left to do. We like to just throw a little shit in at the end, just yeah. little sprinkles. I think we need to update the intro. The intro? Definitely. Yeah. But we tried updating the intro before, and we <laughs> could not figure out what the fuck to make it. We, we struggled. We tried writing one out. We've sat there for forever. We just need to get a hold of Lucy Dwyer. We need to get a hold of Lucy Dwyer? Yeah. Did she write the first one? That's the voice of Lucy Dwyer that does the first one. Lucy Dwyer, we're coming for you.